My name's Rob, um, and I think when we spoke last time, I was partway through my um, electrical training. Since we spoke last time, I've done a few more modules and had my assessment. Everything going well. I'll be qualified as a domestic installer, a commercial installer, uh, qualified to do initial verification on electrical systems, to do periodic testing, and to do pack testing. So that's all complete now. I've signed up to do the um, level four de electrical design course. Um, so I've had a week of training on that, which is fine. I've got to finish a project and then come back and do an exam for that level four. So that's all started and I'm looking forward to that. And that is training and in the middle of introducing um, a specialist course for installing car charging points. Um, so that's a new course to them. So I've signed up and I'm looking forward to doing that, hopefully in January or February with Axis training. So that sort of fits into where I want to be with the door. Yeah, so it's going well. So to get to be able to do the renewable technologies, I need to complete my plumbing course. Um, and that's a two-stage course I've done. Yeah, I've got my diploma. Um, second stage is my NVQ. Um, Axis training have placed me with local tradesmen to do my portfolio work, which has been brilliant. Um, so I just need to finish and submit my portfolio. So hopefully uh, um, might even get that done in the next week or two and then hopefully uh, wait for some good news on my NVQ for plumbing. And then lastly is uh, uh, um, I need to, to do a heating qualification. Um, so I probably started at the most difficult one being gas. Um, but I'm pleased that I passed all my training. I've got a training certificate now. So the final thing to get through that is to get my um, ACS gas assessment. So, you know, it's sort of good progress to date, waiting for my certificate on electric, few bits there to do there, submit my portfolio on plumbing and do my ACS on gas and then you know, I feel quite pleased. Access has given me all the training, they run the courses, they give you all the support uh, but in a very short period of time hopefully they will be qualified with the, all the base qualifications I need to move on to the um, renewable technologies. They put it together very well and uh, they're very supportive. Um, it, it's worked out well, you know. The first thing they've set me up for is there is demand in the industry for plumbers and gas engineers and electricians. So um, in the short term, um, I might well be using those to do more traditional work in those areas. But what it has set me up for is giving me the base qualifications so I can now go on and do solar thermal or solar photovoltaic. I can do um, rainwater harvesting. There are a set of courses I need to do, but to do those courses I need electrical qualification, a plumbing qualification and a heating qualification. So it set me up fantastically to go on and do the renewable technologies. Unfortunately, car charging is the only renewable technology they do at the moment. So open mind if they do some renewable technologies, I might uh, welcome the opportunity to come back you know, further than just the car charging. No, no, be starting my own business and uh, I say with a long term goal of focusing on working with people who want to build low carbon homes, you know, so they're heating and empowering them, charging their cars off batteries and the sun really, and uh, maybe not drawing on the energy network, not drawing on the gas network. You know, it's, it's, it's the direction it's going, you know, government are bringing in things that are going to slow down traditional technologies and traditional industries, whether that be uh, cars or boilers, you know, sort of five, ten years time. You won't be able to buy a petrol or diesel car, you won't be able to install a gas boiler in the home. We'll wait and see uh, how quickly it catches on, really. There is a development these days for what they call off-grid houses. So they're not connected to the electricity network, they're not connected to the water mains, they're totally off-grid. Um, and they get sort of reduced planning constraints and therefore they can build them in places like national parks. But they are looking to rely totally on the sun, totally on producing their own water, totally on charging their cars off battery systems. Um, so yeah, it is an interesting world to look at the future in.